Hey guys, welcome in Mastering Angular 15 from Beginners to Advanced course. In today's lecture, we will talk about the basics of Angular Routing. First, let's talk about what is Angular Router. Angular Router is a powerful library that facilitates navigation between different components or views in your application. The router makes it easy to define the paths or URLs that correlate to specific components. For the implementation of the router, we are going to use the same application we have already created in our previous lectures. And you can see that in this app.component html file i'm using this app view student component directly but if i want to use these components dynamically and add the different modules which we can use as a placeholder to add different components then definitely we need to add routing modules so i'm going to create the routing module ng generate module f minus routing minus minus flat which means i don't want to add this route in any folder Next, I need to specify that in which module I want to add its reference and that will be app module. And this is our app routing.module.ds. First, I'm going to define the routes variable. Const routes and its type will be routes. And by default, it's empty. Now in imposter, I will remove this common module and add routes module there. So this app routing.module.ts file imports router module and routes so the application can have routing capabilities. Next, let's define dot for root and path routes variable in its parentheses. The for root method creates an ng module that contains all the directives, the given routes and the router service itself. But the for child method creates an ng module that contains all the directives and the given routes but doesn't include the router service. Next, we need to export router module to be available throughout the application. Next part of the file is where you configure your routes. Routes tell the router which view to display when a user clicks a link or pastes a URL into the browser address bar. First, we need to write the path. As I haven't written anything in these codes, so this will be our default path. And component I'm going to add in it is view student component. A route has two properties. First is path. A path is a string that matches the URL in the browser address bar. And then there is a component. The component that the router should create when navigating to this route. Now if I want to add another path for the same component, then we can write it like this. Path view student and the component is same view student component after adding this route in this router module now i'm going to app.module.ts in this we already have our app routing module but before that we need to add our own router module which we have created now and after this we need to go to the app.component.html file where we directly add our view student component Now simply we just write here router outlet. This router outlet basically is just a placeholder here. This router link is the selector for the router link directive that turns user clicks into the router navigation. Now let's run the application to test these routes. And it displays the view student HTML on default route. If I change this route to the view student, it again shows the same components HTML. Next, let's add multiple components to test the multiple routes. And I'm going to add two components about us and contact us. And now in this router module, I'm going to add the paths for these two components. After adding these paths, I'm going in app.component.html file and in this I'm going to add navigational properties for these three paths so that we can test easily. Let's run the application and test these all the paths. 
so here in front end we have our router link view student about us and contact us and on click it navigate to its own component and show its desired html and js on front end and this is the way we can add navigation with the routing hope you understand it if you have any question or theory you can ask in comments but if this lecture is helpful for you then guys please like subscribe and share my channel thanks for watching